Hello, I'm Jane Madrick, CEO of Wetlands International. I'm just back from Glasgow, week one of the Climate COP26. What a whirlwind. Here are my thoughts. Are the commitments of all the governments enough to keep us within the 1.5 degrees centigrade rise in temperature? It's going the right way, but it's still not clear. What is clear is that there's a lot of space for, for nature, nature-based solutions, to make a big difference. However, the take-up is still rather low. But what is positive is that nature and water uh, were both in the agenda, in the dialogue of the COP, like never before. Many nature-positive commitments were made, for example, to halt and reverse deforestation, to establish and manage huge marine nature reserves. And both freshwater wetlands like peatlands and coastal wetlands like mangroves and seagrass beds, they are included in these because they are uh, the best, uh, the biggest natural uh, carbon stores. And they can help slow climate change as well as helping the world to adapt to the climate change which is already happening. The connection between nature and climate seems better understood and more visible now and the world is beginning to realise that apart from parts per million of CO2 and other greenhouse gases, we need to make sure we, we still have resilient earth systems. Uh, and of course, safeguarding and restoring wetlands as the water systems of the planet is, is key to this. So the work of Wetlands International seemed hugely uh, relevant to most of the debates. However, the, the urgency and the scale of uh, the task to bring nature back sufficiently is daunting, especially when the business as usual um, economic development is still being incentivized. So we have heard about some moves to adjust financial and institutional systems um, to, to counteract these uh, perverse incentives. But this is still in early stages and the end result of net zero will depend on this happening quicker. There was also some debate last week about the role of the private sector in investing in nature-based solutions. Was it a, a good thing or perhaps a bad thing? And Wetlands International have done what we can to emphasise that solutions to this enormous problem of climate change really are going to require uh, both top-down solutions and bottom-up and that it's vital for the private sector to engage alongside the public sector in, uh, in investing in nature-based solutions and that we believe that it is possible to make sure that this is done in a, in a just way and in a transparent way and in a way where indigenous and local communities can play a strong role and, uh, and uh, meet and keep their rights as well as uh, to fully participate and benefit in the process. So overall, I'm optimistic that this COP can really signal uh, a new beginning for investing in nature-based solutions as a core part of climate action. Thank you.